Howdy howdy, this is Credit Grinding back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover my round one thoughts for the new Hella and Omega Red arenas. So the first thing I always like to do is categorize um, these arenas to past arenas as that allow me to do some trend analysis. And when it comes to uh, the feature arenas, really there's old and new champs and Hella, she's been in the game for some time, so she definitely will fall into that old bucket. Now, when it comes to the four-star basic, it gets a little bit more interesting, and, and I think in Omega Red's case and all kind of the, the concerns across the, the MCOC community right now with four stars, I think it's going to be really difficult to see, is this going to be a medium interest or is this going to be a high interest? And medium interest, most recently, like if you look at Korg, a lot of people thought he might fall into the high category but then fell into medium and then um ghost she was the most recent one that just made the high interest cut but uh, um so i'm gonna it's kind of hard i think it's gonna be right on that borderline between medium and high so i'm um, in medium falls from two million to three million and high is three million to four million so i think it's right, right around that three million you know high two million to low three million area so uh, to see kind of what I was talking about first take a look at some medium interest results and these are decent champs and newer you know first time in the uh, four star basic in, in, in arena you can see like Heimdall 2.3 most recently Korg 2.69 even though he's a beast in alliance war defense he kind of fell into that area and then uh, even kind of going a couple arenas further back you can see Red Skull 2.3 and Wasp 2.32 and then on the higher side, you can see Core, Captain America Infinity War, um, even, like I said, most recently Ghost. But then you also, you have Domino in there, 4.23, so in 3.4. So it'll be interesting to see. And all of these, keep in mind, all of these before, you know, Kabam was basically saying, four stars aren't worth it. Can't even bring him in for Act 6 for the synergies. Now, you know, I know a lot of the, you know, especially folks in the in-game community, but people that are getting close to there are a little like, hey... You know, I have some of my best champs, or even from a synergy st standpoint, of four stars. So there's not a lot of happiness right now in the MCOC community when it comes to four stars. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how that carries over to four star based arenas. Um, so something definitely to keep in mind, even with the feature arenas. But with the three star feature, you can see it's really over that last milestone. With the four star feature, it's been kind of around that 5.6, 5.5 area. It did dip down to 4.9 with Dr. Octopus, all this backlash right now in the community, about four stars, and, and what Kabam's done with Act 6, will that bring those numbers back down to 4.9, or will it remain kind of like um, in that 5.5, or could it be in the middle? And then uh, five-star feature, you can see, um, for the most part, it's, you know, high 28, or sorry, I should say high 20 millions to 30 million. Um, with an occasional drop with Dr. Octopus down to 17 million, even though he's a definite decent champ, but was surprised to see that number fall that low. So looking at these trends, I always like to get, you know, that's one thing, doing a little trend analysis to come up with my predictions. But when it comes to uh, different arenas, what I usually like to, the most interesting arena, uh, and get the input from you, the community, is it's really us who, who, you know, we all go out and do the grinding. So this time I decided to ask, um, about the four star basic omega red arena and you can see um, 500 first of all 574 of you took the time to vote thank you very much for those who did um you can see the um majority of folks think you know uh omega red is going to land in that three to three point five range to be clear this is the same range that we thought korg was going to land in but also to be fair the same range we thought ghost actually i think ghost was in that 3.5 to 4 million but regardless anyway just something to kind of keep in mind but what was interesting in the comments um, well, first of all, to kind of go along with the, the majority, that 51%, James Cox is at best, with Korg only going for 2.6. I think 2.8 to 3 million would be a good number. Omega is also the counter for Korg. Um, so that was kind of like for those folks that thought he might just make 3 million or the low 3 million, that was kind of a common sentiment across the community. But there was a lot of folks like FF Strat DH here who said 2.2, four stars have been ever have never been more pointless so i think and there was a lot of folks who commented on the on the poll who said four stars you can tell there's a lot of uh uh <laughs> rage across the community right now when it comes to four stars and what Kabam's done with that honestly i mean you know i haven't put on any videos about it there's been p plenty of the uh, folks across the, the community that are youtubers who have done that just you know two seconds on that real quick you know i think Kabam's going to backtrack that it's unfair if somebody wants to go out and try four stars even like 
if it's just the limitation of their roster. But just from a skill standpoint, it's one thing to be, be, beat content in the game with your best, but it's also something to go back in and, and try with some lower level content. I get if they want to kind of, you know, limit different classes or something like that, but to limit whole different star groups, that seems a little bit outrageous. So hopefully Kabam rethinks that and, uh, you know, lets people go in with uh, all the different level stars and, you know, their point is like to protect in the community because we know you're going to need that high level. You know what? If the community, I don't need a parent. I've got parents. I don't need any more parents to protect me from different content. If I want to go in with content, let me go in with content. And if I waste my time and, you know, don't get anywhere, so be it. But, you know, don't make the decision for me. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for that. I'm going to get back to the arena cutoff stuff. Um, first, so now considering the trend analysis as well as your input, here are my thoughts for the round one cutoffs for the new Hella and Omega Red Arenas. Uh, this is for the veterans bracket, so this is uh, for accounts that are over 60 days. Um, so I think it's gonna be 28 million. It's gonna be a little bit lower than what we saw, probably right around that Mephisto, but a little bit lower than what we saw for Sabretooth here more recently. I think it's gonna be 5.2, that four star. It's not gonna be that 5.5, 5.6 anymore. I think it's gonna be closer to that Dr. Octopus, a little kind of in the middle. Same thing actually with um, jumping over to Omega Red. I think it's gonna be 2.9 2 million for the cutoff. So kind of, but, you know, right at that me, me, medium and low, or medium and high interest kind of range. Again, I would think it'd be over three million if the four star issue wasn't going around. But given that, I think there's a lot of folks who are going to say, "What's, what's the use for me grinding kind of stuff?" But anyway, and then lastly for the three star featuring, I think that's pretty clear. It's going to be around that 650, that standard kind of mile marker, if you will. And again, I try to be within five to ten percent, so kind of keep that in mind. I always like to give a grind target for the veterans bracket, just so because I'm, you know, this isn't an exact science. To give yourself a little buffer, thirty-one million should be enough for Hella. Six million should be enough for the four-star Hella. Three point three to three point five, maybe even three point five, just in case people still go out there and kind of drive that uh, Omega Red number up, since he's a definite decent champ. You might want to push it to three point five, but you know what? Three point three should work too. Seven hundred thousand for the three-star feature. Hella. Now these grind targets and predictions again are for the veterans bracket, for the earlier brackets, beginners bracket. Now, you know, if you've looked at my last um, arena video, I mentioned that I, I have a new free-to-play account that I'm messing around with, and so I can I can definitely say that three-star feature number 245s worked the last two times I was able to get Captain Marvel. So and it's pretty consistent. It doesn't matter if it's a new champ or old champ in these lower level brackets. The 245 should definitely work. This four star basic number. This is pretty high because I was able to score beast for like just over 500,000. So I don't know if that's going to be consistent or not. So I'm I'm going to push the red omega or red, red omega omega red number because I would like to get him on my free to play account. Definitely a good would be a great champ for my that new roster that I'm building. By the way, I already have eight uh, four stars after uh, only 10 days, so that's pretty crazy. I'm going to probably do a quick review and show those arena results because that's really like why I'll, not only free to play account, you know, again, try new content and new characters and try different things. It's fun, but also to try to get a sense about these brackets. So that 1.2. That's almost like a safety zone. I mean, I mean there's going to definitely be more interest for Omega Red compared to Beast, but that, that number seems really high based off of the fact that I was able to get Beast. I was in, in, I had a pretty high ranking. Like, I think it was like 150 and some change with that number. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, four star feature. I mean, based off of the little information I got, it's one million. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried the new uh, the feature arenas yet. I'm definitely going to try that when. Um, uh, Nick Fury when Fury comes into the arena next week so I'll be trying that but until then we'll stick with that 1 million number and then intermediate brackets I'll keep with the numbers that you know I've seen for a while again these are probably on the higher end but I won't have my own results to kind of uh, compare against these for some time for another month basically but uh, three star feature looking at 550 again intermediate bracket your account's been open for 31 to 60 days three star feature around 550 three four star basic around 1.3 million and a four star feature around 1 million so anyway these are my thoughts for the uh, new Hella and uh, Omega Red arenas we'll love to hear your thoughts especially if it's different throw it on down in the comment section we can discuss that there and if you have any questions, throw them down in, in the uh, comment section and we can definitely discuss them there as well. Other than that, if you like this video, we'd really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, really appreciate it if you would. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.